welcome back to the channel everybody how's it going hope you're all doing well as you can tell today we're in anthem for another review and uh this time it's a one year review and it should be really interesting guys because anthem is one of one of the games that he has launched that uh, have made a complete 180 and is completely different compared to launch so today we're going to be talking about it and seeing if you should get it nowadays and if you guys do end up joining today's video make sure you feel like down below show your appreciation because if not your reddit account will get deleted and i know you go on reddit because you don't talk to anybody except those creepy bastards so uh, nevertheless guys make sure to subscribe and let's get into it Ready, Captain One? Let's go. You are freelancers. Anthem came out in February of 2019. So it's basically been a year that it's been out, and let's just say that it was a complete mess at launch. I was one of the many people who believed in Anthem's insane amount of potential it had. The first time it was shown at EA Play, everyone was awed. The world was beautiful, the gameplay was dynamic, it was unique, different compared to anything we've seen before. And it was made by Bioware, the studio behind Mass Effect. Then the beta came around, and it kind of destroyed some people's dreams. There were tons of bugs and hardware issues, frame rates were not running smoothly nor properly, and frame rate drops would typically occur during battles, making it really hard to actually stay alive. But the dynamic gameplay part of the game did not disappoint. Random world events would occur often, and obviously, depending on the difficulty, the game would be pretty hard, which always gave many people something challenging to complete and try out. But it was a beta after all. We thought things like this would be ironed out by the time the game came out. Anthem's launch as already stated was a complete train wreck. It'll go down as one of the of one of the least successful launches in video game history. Most bugs present in the beta continue into the main game, such as frame rate issues, graphical fidelity, etc. And one thing that turned everyone off was the infamous loading screens. But in all seriousness, one loading screen to load into a legendary mission took me over one minute on the Xbox One X, an improved and faster uh, hard drive. Most people who believed in Anthem just didn't anymore, and most people who bought it put it down and didn't really touch it again, including me. And then there were the people who didn't even buy it after the mess of a beta it was. Also, just another thing that made the game unworthy were the loot drop rates. Whenever you kill an enemy, you and your teammates, because for whatever reason this game is multiplayer only, although there is literally a private game feature, which should always be ma mandatory, will get loot, and based on your level, will get higher or lower levels. When the game first came out, it took an excruciatingly long time to get higher levels of loot. For example, from uncommon to rare to epic, etc. Also, it took a really long time to unlock... Uh, each of the classes that were available in the game, Storm, Ranger, Interceptor, and Colossus, uh, you'll be able to choose whichever you want from the start, and then after you would have to make your way up into the levels, and once you reach a certain level, you'll be able to unlock the next character, which was super annoying because it takes a really long time to get to the level that it's required. To this day, I only have three out of the four unlocked. I still don't have the, the Colossus unlocked, so yeah, that's a problem. Nowadays, Anthem has some new features, including seasonal events for the open free play world. It's been supported throughout the year and has had continuous updates, and there are leaks that Bioware will completely overhaul the game. But let's focus on what we currently have right now. Anthem is currently in its seasonal event, so the free play and mission worlds are covered in snow. Since launch, they've added things like cataclysms, strongholds, and legendary missions. And I've recently jumped back into Anthem, enjoying replaying some of the missions and playing new contracts from different characters, trying to boost strongholds and free play challenges. It's been cool to jump into Anthem now that most of the bugs are kinda ironed out, including most of the hardware and frame rate issues, although the game does stutter occasionally, but uh, definitely not as often as it used to be. And uh, that being said, Anthem is still not a perfect game. There's still many issues with it, although that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy it. Now that it is 2020, and it's been almost a year since it came out, I believe that with all of the updates and content that has been added into Anthem, that it is now worthy to buy in 2020. 
And if I were to give it a score on 10, because there are still issues with the game, and it is not perfect, that's for sure, I would give the game an 8.1 on 10, compared to IGN's 6.5 on 10 on launch. This game is a lot better compared to launch. It runs a lot better. It has new content. It has new missions. There are, there is word of uh, completely re overhauling the game that didn't even make sense. But who cares? Um, but yeah, this game is absolutely great now. It's a lot better, as I said. And uh, Bioware is still not giving up on the game. It's a completely new IP that they could do anything they want with it, and uh, I'm sure they won't give it up now. Especially since Bioware is starting to move away from EA, just like how DICE is when they started uh, develop a continuous development for Battlefront. But uh, besides that, guys, I do think that Anthem is worth it nowadays. Especially since you're able to find this game for like anywhere from 5 to 20 bucks. It's not that expensive. It has a load of content. Most issues are ironed out. I definitely think that you should get this game in 2020.